welcome back for another lesson. So, as a future teacher, we all believe that instructional design is about creating learning experiences that ensure not only the acquisition of knowledge and skills, but also their applications. Now, um, there are a lot of several instructional design models that exist, but today we will talk about one of the most popular um, model, which is you will have a lot of questions like the truth like why do researchers says about um, the effect of instructional designs or there are many theories but how does it make sense like how do they apply all of it so there's a quote that says effective lessons are task centered with practical demonstrations of real world situations and so Allow me to introduce one of the best researchers, and he said that effective lessons are important because it will help the, to compose a knowledge and skills. So this is Mr. David Merrill, a very respected educational researcher and teacher who studied various instructional design models, and of course, he established what we call the Merrill's Principle of Instruction. So he established these five instructional designs that can help and achieve efficient and effective instruction. First is the problem or the test-centered. This is where the learning is promoted when the learners are engaged in solving real-world problems. This may include simulation or situation that provide learners with contextualized in order for them to think analytically and initiative. Next is the activation. This is where the learning is promoted when the existing knowledge is activated as a foundation for knowledge. So, in other, in other terms, if learners don't have relevant experiences in order to activate, you have to provide them to ensure the basic understanding. Next is demonstration, or you have to show me. This is where the learning is promoted when the new knowledge is demonstrated to the learning. So, of course, engagement with learning is king here. The learners are more likely to understand how to apply, then you, and you will give them a good examples. Next is the applications. So learning is promoted when the new knowledge is applied by the learner. To build guidance, you have to provide guidance that guidance and after the guidance you will allow the learner to take charge and complete tasks independently. And lastly, integration. This is when the learning is promoted, when new knowledge is integrated into the learner's world. So let's get personal. Learners are motivated when they recognize their own progress. So it is important for them to recognize. So these are the, um, the instructional design.